Hello again. Welcome back to another video recorded lesson on the recorder. I like a, a video recording of the recorder. It's a tongue twister, you know? Hmm. Wow. Hopefully you've been working on the B note, the A note, and the G note. On a previous video, I showed you about the high C and the high D as well. Remember to keep the recorder aimed low, not up high, but down low. Don't blow too hard. Have the other hand cradle the recorder because this other hand has to get ready to play the other notes. And why not learn the other notes right now? I have them precariously perched on this music stand. That means very delicate. If I move too much, it's going to fly all over the place. And wouldn't that be something if all the papers flew all over the place? Anyway, here are the other notes that we can learn right now. So notice I have a line here on all these notes, on the F note, the E note, the low D note, and the low C note. I have a line that separates my left hand and my right hand. You might have opted, chosen, to play your recorder with your right hand here. That means your left hand would have to do all the work on these other harder notes to play. These are harder notes to play because you have to use two hands. So. Last time we learned a B note, A note, G note. Here is the next note, F. This finger we leave alone. It doesn't do anything else. On the other hand, we put our index finger on this hole. Cover up the thumb hole. Here's your F note. Play along. You got that? An F note. The next one is an E note. You still play that F, but you add another finger. You add that second finger on the other hand. Make sure that the hole is completely covered. Don't blow too hard. And hopefully you'll get a smooth sound like this. Okay, here's your F. <laughs> that sounds the same old. Here's your E, sorry. I don't think I had the hole covered completely for the first time I played the E. So let me try this again. Here's your E note. Here's your F. E. Okay. The next one is a low D. Now you have to get this finger, this third finger, on that hole. Hopefully I'll play it right this time. You never know. This is not my main instrument. I'm still learning too. Here's your low D note. Now you already have learned how to play a high D note. If you recall, it's like this. One finger, no thumb hole. It's the same note, just much higher. D, low D is like this. <laughs> that didn't sound quite right. Holes are covered. Okay. Now, here is your low C note. For me, this is a hard note to play because sometimes my little pinky finger, my little finger doesn't cover the hole quite enough. So I'm going to give it a shot here. Hopefully it'll be clear. It might not be. It might squeak. I'll do the best I can. Okay. Here are the notes again. F. E. D. C. Low C. Now, if we go through all, you know, okay, I'm, I might get a little too fast here. Play these notes over and over. But if you now play the other notes from the other lessons, starting from a high C, I can play a whole C scale. Look at this. Kind of cool, right? And go the other way, too. Oh, let's not squeak. I'm squeaking like crazy. Now, I might have done too much there. I don't mean to confuse you. But what I did is I played these notes, F, E, low D, low C. And then I played, just, just for fun, I mixed these notes and I added it to the notes I already learned from before. So I played 
a high C, and a B note, A, then a G, then I played F, E, T, C. Does that make sense? Did that get through on the video? I hope it did. You know, I sometimes get excited and I probably explain too much. But anyway, practice the notes that you learned before. Practice your high C. In fact, you can practice your high D note from before. Keep practicing your B note. Keep practicing your A note. Keep practicing your G. And play these new notes as well using your other hand. It might take a little while to get comfortable with it, but keep practicing. Pause the video at different times. Play it over and over. And then we can play more tunes, okay? The F, the E, the low D, and the low C. Have fun with this recording of playing the recorder. See you later.